Hey guys, so for today's video, I went in my closet and picked out my favorite gym pieces. I'm going to be showing leggings and tops I feel, you know, fit the best, complement my body the best, that are of quality, so lasting at least a year, and are squat proof, all that. This video is sponsored by Ana Luisa, so I picked out my favorite Ana Luisa pieces to pair with my outfits. Some of my old Ana Luisa, some of my new. I chose to partner with Ana Luisa because they are a sustainable and ethical brand. They use recycled materials whenever possible. They're carbon neutral, so they give back everything they take. And because of their quality and prices, the prices start at $39. Partnered with them a year ago and I still wear those pieces, so I'm confident in showing and recommending them to you guys again. I chose pieces that are simple and versatile enough to wear with anything, including my active and casual clothing. Annalisa is great for those everyday pieces that are dainty and minimalistic that still stand out. Pieces that are simple enough to layer with your other necklaces. The layered sets and pendants can be separated, so I wear them in a bunch of different ways. I switch the chains from necklace to bracelet to belly chain to anklet. Like the Isadora set, I wear the main piece as a necklace and the other two as a bracelet and anklet. Right now they're having huge discounts on their website, so now would be the perfect time to check them out for yourself or as a gift for someone else. And if you guys decide you want to check them out and get some pieces from them during this sale, I have the link in the description along with everything I'm wearing in the video. First set I'm wearing is from Fabletics. Top is the Luciana long sleeve and the bottoms are the Sculptnik 7-8 leggings. This is one of my favorite black tops. It has thick, nice rib material with the thumb holes and it fits very nicely. It's not very stretchy, but I don't mind that at all. My only negative is the zipper will only stay at a certain spot. That's it. And these leggings complement me so nicely. I could do without the snowflake pattern on the legs, but they fit so well I had to get them anyway. The top part is a perfect balance of compression and stretch and the bottoms. I could literally roll up all the way to my knee. They're not tight at all, which is amazing if you have bigger calves <laughs> and ankles like me. This is Gymshark Seamless Collection. Comes in a bunch of different colors. This is the sage. And this sage is one of my favorites along with the gray. Their long sleeve crops are very nicely made. It has good stretch to it. The arms are long enough for me to put my thumbs in those holes without feeling that pull in my thumbs or my shoulders. To me, it would be perfect if it was a little longer. It has a seam on the back of the leggings, but not on the front, which is very much appreciated. Right now, this is my number one favorite black top for sure. It's by Gymshark as well. Literally, my only negative is the color. It's a lighter, chalky black. And I wear a lot of black, and I don't like to be walking around with five different shades of black on. I'll still wear this with my black leggings, but I just wish it was a little darker because most of my black pieces are pretty dark. The detailing is very cute. It fits so nicely. It's very comfortable, breathable, stretchy, all that. And it cuffs at the bottom, but has length to it if you want to pull it down a little bit. These are Gymshark's Energy Seamless Leggings. I partnered with them a year ago and initially picked these up in a small. The inside seam ripped a few months later. They were already on the tighter side and I started gaining a little weight. But anyway, I was missing them, so I picked them up in a medium, along with a few other that I grew out of. These complement your legs very nicely, but they don't have much stretch to them, so I wouldn't size down. For this outfit, top is Do You Even. It's their seamless long sleeve, and the bottoms are Gymshark's camo leggings. Now, I really like this top mainly because of the color and the length. It has a little Do You Even on the back. The length is perfect. And the material being thick, it's a lot thicker than Gymshark's. But if I'm doing upper body, that thickness kind of gets in the way and becomes a little bit uncomfortable because it doesn't have much stretch to it. So the thumb holes are a no-go when I'm wearing this, but 
I don't mind for that anyway. It's really cute, quality's good, still looks brand new, but it's just a little stiff. These bottoms I also grew to like. I had to break these in a little bit. The material's thick and they're very comfortable. They fit nicely, complement my shape, pretty good stretch. I really have no complaints with these leggings. Top 10 for sure. And this outfit is by Do You Even. This top is not as thick as the gray, so it's a lot easier to move in. This is really on my list because of the color and the pattern block. It's an outfit I have for a minute and lately I've just been liking it. I feel like it was overlooked. So actually for this outfit, I will say this is a right now, right now favorite. You know, more short term favorite because, you know, it's cute and it fits nicely, but it's not really a staple piece for me or something I'd rebuy. And leggings are aloe yoga. The only leggings I would recommend from this video for both gym and yoga, but obviously they're made for that. The material is meant for deep stretching. My only negative is the seam in the front, but with a black pair, it doesn't really matter too much. These are perfect for when you're bloated or you just want to go to the gym comfortable. The top is aloe's real tank bra. This top is perfect really the material is so soft and stretchy it feels like you have nothing on and the length is perfect it does have a built-in bra this jacket is from amazon and i'm including it for those of you that want you know a decent and expensive black crop zip i got these two for 30 but i think they're a little under 20 for each now they offer a small slash medium or large slash extra large they're basically the same size, honestly. I'm wearing the large slash extra large. This long sleeve hooded zip, I picked it from Nordstrom's. It's gonna be linked in the description. Super comfortable. My only negative is the length. It's rolled up now, but the bottom flares out a little bit. And it's very breathable and comfortable. Now, I wasn't gonna add these in because I don't have an exact link for them. But you can probably find them in store. These are Forever 21's ribbed leggings. They were only $12. They're not going to last as long as the other leggings. Now once you break into these, the fit is amazing. And they don't have a front or back seam. The waistband is thick and has really good compression. Favorite Forever 21 leggings for sure. So yes, if you're looking for more inexpensive leggings, this is a good option. I only have the exact link to the light gray ones, which will be in the description. But yeah, if you guys see these in Forever 21 and you're looking for a more inexpensive legging, I would definitely recommend. So that is the last of the last. If you have any recommendations, let me know. I think the only brands that I have in mind right now that I want to try out is the Alpha Lee revival and the women's best those are the only two in mind right now that i can think of again go and check out anna luisa they're having a huge sale right now it's not gonna last for long i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you for watching and i will see you in my next video